Hello everyone, it is Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me and this video is a day late. Yesterday was, well, let's just say a very unusual day. So I got a call from my mom and she told me that her brother passed away. So that was really sad for us. We had our Uncle Lloyd that was actually uh, my uncle that lives in Hawaii. Um, the uncle that one of my uncles said his house burned down in Lahaina. He passed away in the morning and um, he did so peacefully in his sleep. So that was good. And then one of my mom's cousins also died too. And they died just pretty much hours within each other. So as I was giving my mom comfort and talking with our family and, and doing the things that families do when unexpected events like this happen, um, we just gather close together and we had my family, actually, my children and I and my husband celebrated our Christmas last night. I have a daughter-in-law who's an ICU nurse who will be working on Christmas. So we gathered together and we had such a joyous occasion together, spending time um, eating really good food. My husband made prime rib and it was delicious. So we had really fancy dinner on China and the whole works. And then we opened presents and the kids played and we just were together. And that's exactly what we needed yesterday. So, you know, I, I tell you these things just to know that I live a real life and just like each of you, ups and downs and hard times and good times come into our life. But when you have a family to grab onto and hold onto, it makes the journey through life a little bit easier. And how grateful we are for our religious, you know, beliefs that we'll be together. And so, yeah, we just spent time as a family and it was very much needed. And it was wonderful. It was a good night for us. Okay, the video that I was supposed to make, let's get into it. It is our my mini sinking funds, and I'm doing it differently today. I really want to complete this um, challenge. So let me help pull it out. This little mini challenge is probably the biggest mini challenge that I've ever done, and it's for $408. So I have... Um, you know, quite a bit of money here today. And I really want to complete this because I want to um, divide this money in half, use half of it for to go into my savings to start the new year with, and half of it to go towards my emergency fund to, you know, give me a good push in the new year with my emergency fund. Every year um, on my channel, I add $1,000 to my emergency fund. Some years I use it, some years I don't. Last year I did. So I decided this year, along with my husband, that I would do uh, get my $1,000 in my emergency fund as fast as I could, and then start another one. And then, you know, I think that might be the new tradition, just continuously have a savings challenge that's dedicated to emergency fund. And as we receive more money and save more money for that, it just gives us security and safety and peace. Um, so I think that's the plan. All right. So how much money do I owe? <laughs> Well, I believe I need to put in, I wrote me a little note. I believe I need to put $165 in. That's how much all these extra blank spaces add up to. So let me count 165. I will add it to all the money that's in here. And then we'll see if I get to 108. Ooh, and I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So hopefully I do. There's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 65. Okay, this money is going to go on the side for other challenges. And this is the fun part, of course. I get to color this in. So let's do this section. This um, mini savings challenge was really slow going. And I liked it because the highest amount that I had to put in was $16. Um, I normally like my mini savings challenges to go by very quickly, you know, quick wins so that I can fund bigger goals. 
And this one, you know, I think it's worthwhile to have one big one that you're working on with the smaller ones because it gives, you know, it really is going to put a lot of money towards my bigger goals. And if I wasn't, you know, splitting it between savings, it would be a huge amount to jumpstart my emergency fund, right? I mean, it was all, it would almost be half the amount needed because like I said, I wanted to start off with $1,000. How much money are you saving for your emergency fund? Um, I just feel like $1,000 in the day and age in which we live is a good amount to have, but possibly not a, you know enough. So I'm curious, how much money are you wanting for your emergency fund? Um, how much do you need to make you feel secure and safe and, you know, feel like you can, what, no matter what comes your way, you'd be able to handle it? So leave that in the comments for me because I'm really just curious. And if you're new and you're just starting out, there is nothing wrong with the $1,000 amount. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing a little bit of money here and there to complete and reach the goal that you have for your budget. Remember, everyone's budget is different. My budget is definitely different than other people who make a lot of money. And so, yeah, just figure it out for yourself and then work a plan on how to achieve that. Okay, with this money and with this, let's see. Probably should put all these 20s together. Oh my goodness, there is so much in here. Okay, let's see if we end up with 408. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 408 dollars that is awesome and like i said um when i stuff my big savings challenges you will see some of this money going there and then the rest is going into savings so in this envelope i still have these two challenges that i can work on one is oh i have three challenges there's that one for 360 that one for 160 and this one is roll the dice and I think I'm gonna put these aside and meet them you know later on in the year and I'll probably do the roll the dice one but I have so many savings challenges and so many new ones that I want to get into that I'm going to put this in the back because I've already done one of them and we will revisit it later okay so what how much money do I have left not a lot there's 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, $37. <coughs> Excuse me. I would love to finish this Fox challenge. Well, the Fox envelope, my deer challenge from my woodland animals. And I need 5, 10, 15, 20, $25 to do that. So let's put this 25 in here. Oh, I get to ring the bell. Hang on. I keep forgetting this is kind of new to me. I mean, and maybe some more because that was such a big amount. That was a good challenge to complete. And I'm going to color this in and we're going to ring the bell for this one. So it's kind of exciting. I feel like I'm kind of finishing up a few challenges and then starting, you know, I'll be able to start some new ones in the new year. So that is completely awesome. There's 10, 15, 20, and the last one, let's do pink, 25 absolutely love this okay i think this should have like i don't know maybe 80 dollars. let's see 20 whoops 20 40 60 
65. Okay, wait a minute. Hang on. Now we're ready. 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 80 dollars fantastic and this is going to go towards my emergency fund as well i can't wait to stuff my bigger challenges on uh wednesday because i am going to be showing them a lot of love so i've already done two challenges from the woodland set and i think i'm just gonna pop this one out and we will revisit it and finish this one maybe in the fall. So, because like I said, I have so many new ones. And I actually, I'm gonna put this one aside over here. Okay. Now, what do I have going? I have $12. I do know that I want to go visit this one for Mo Mori Temi Saves from Phoebe. And where is it? I know it's in here. I thought I saw it. Oh, here it is. She gave this to me along with a Christmas card and I absolutely love it. So each set of these champagne glasses or for me sparkling grape juice are $2. So we're just gonna add the two. And now we have a total of $4 in here. And this will be a fun little one to finish. That means Ooh, next time, next time I'm going to have to finish this because it's a New Year's challenge. Or do I need to finish it this time? Maybe I better put all the money in there. Yep, I'm thinking I need to. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add, we're going to color in five more of these. So two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll go clear to here. That is probably the best idea. And then next time I will completely finish this one for New Year's and have a little bit of money for that. Let's see if I decided what, what this is going to go towards funding. I don't know if I have yet. Oh, it's going to go into my vacation um, challenge, which is my panda challenge. So that will be awesome. Woohoo! How exciting. Six more dollars and that's done. Um, I can't wait. Next time we do our sinking funds, I'm going to have everything set up and organized for the year 2024. I figure I want to work on about eight to ten mini savings challenges at a time and just rotate through those. Now, all my challenges, like for example, this one comes with, you know, three different challenges. This one's worth 60, this one's worth 60, and this is a roll and save. I'm thinking, because I have so many, I'm going to do one of the challenges in the set and then put the set aside and go on to a new set. And then after I've gone through my sets, then go back and revisit them. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll give it a little more thought. Well, everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am grateful for you. I appreciate you. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, I would love a little comment. I'm kind of behind in my comments, but I do read every single one of them, and they just bring me so much joy. And it's a way that I feel like I connect with you and build our friendships. Well, until next time, which will be Christmas Day, have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye.